Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more modded Darkest Dungeon. So, we are going to do the Brigand 8 pounder, and there's a decent Slayer item in here, which makes him much better with melee skills, but not so much with ranged. That's fine. And I'm going to bring a Seraph, because I haven't really tested the Seraph properly, so we can do that now. And I gave her the trinket that we got, which will buff all the heroes if we get a killing blow. Could be pretty good, we'll see about that. It will decrease the speed quite significantly, but I suppose that's alright. And I picked up some skills that will allow us to take advantage of repost. And I also got a guard, because we got a Lamia in here. I'm not totally sure if this one heal is going to be enough, but hopefully combined with the dodge buff on the grave robber, and with guard from the Seraph, it's going to be enough. So either way, this is our group. We got a Seraph, we got a Bounty Hunter, Clorf, because he has Mark with two different skills, and Seraph works best if somebody else in the group can Mark. Then we got the Grave Robber and the Lamia. So, let's do this, shall we? What do we want? Some shovels, obviously food, just grab all the food we can. Torches, maybe holy water or two, we can always use that to buff ourselves, and that will do. Here. Looks good to me, let's go! Simple folk sulfur. Alright then, so the boss is going to be right here on the left. Also, the Seraph has a pretty nice skill that prevents nightstorm ambush and also potentially buffs the entire party with plus 10% protection. So that is pretty good. Great. <laughs> we walked right into a trap right at the start. Okay. That uses medicinal herbs. Okay, that is a lot of food. <laughs> I probably won't need that much, but hey, I can always use that to heal myself, I suppose. Alright, first group. Time to test this setup, how well it's going to work. So, I think we'll open with Throne Dagger, because that will buff my accuracy. Uh, then again, we got 95% already, it seems. Okay, I do not need more accuracy. I can try to land Blight. Even if it doesn't land, it will debuff their Blight resist. And they only have 15% debuff resist. So, let's go with that. Yeah, he resisted the blight, but now we debuffed his blight resist, so the next one should land, hopefully. I do not need any healing at the moment, but I don't really want to transform because that will move the character to the front. What can we do? We can pull one of the artillery towards us, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. That will also debuff its dodge. Alright, I could mark one of the Scratchers, and then hit him with the Seraph, which will also remove the mark, but it will give us significantly more damage against a marked target. I want to see how well that's going to work. Nice resist. And we are dodging quite nicely so far. So here are the skills. Up to 26 damage. Yep, that's pretty good. Plus 150% damage versus a marked target. And plus 200% here, but a minus 50% damage mod. But this skill pierces armor. Right, so up to 26 damage and 11% chance to crit. And capped chance to hit. 13. Yeah, okay, slightly disappointing, but I'll take it. So let's remove that blight. Sure, okay. Might as well. We don't want it to stack too much. And now we should probably finish off that scratcher. Confidence there we go, that will do. So, next up. Let's pull one artillery towards us. That will also mark it. This is perfect. This is a really nice combo with the bounty hunter. Seraph and the bounty hunter. Because the bounty hunter can pull one of the enemies from the back row towards us which will also mark him, and then the Seraph can hit that enemy. Not in this particular case, because he moved back. But that's alright. I guess I'll just hit the Scratcher. Or the Corpse. 
let's actually hit the corpse. I was hoping to destroy it, but now it has one health left. Okay. Fine. I suppose somebody will have to do one damage. Fine, let's just get rid of that corpse. I didn't quite need the accuracy buff, but whatever, we got it anyway. Uh, actually, that's not quite what I wanted, but alright. Just hit the artillery. There, 36 critical. That's what I like to see. And now we got more damage versus marked enemies. Not that I'll need it. Maybe against the Scratcher. Okay, just hit the Scratcher. Yeah, the Seraph is not that good if nobody in the group can mark. But she can do really nice damage if someone can indeed mark. She does have her own mark skill, I think. Yeah, right here, Brand. And I do have that, so I could pick it up. As in, not in the middle of combat, but I could swap to that. However, it's not needed because we have the Bounty Hunter. So, right, let's finish off the Scratcher. Another nice crit. And the artillery is last. Remove that Blight. Yeah, this setup could work pretty nicely. I'm curious to see how well that's going to work against the boss. Should work pretty well. One more heal before we leave, maybe? Nah, just kill it. So, let's see. Right, this requires holy water. I think that just removes stress, which we don't have any of. What if we don't use? holy water. Right, that will reduce stress to zero. Okay, let's move on. We got a secret door. Okay, this is a dead end and I don't need to go there, but I want to... Oh, I didn't bring a key. I knew I forgot about something. And we had to get the secret door in the one dungeon where I didn't bring a key. However, we might still find one, who knows. There's a decent chance we'll find one. If we find one, then I can backtrack to that secret door. We still got quite a lot of this dungeon left. I could also get around this corridor to not fight whatever this is. Right, we can use a shovel here, that should be fine. Okay, portraits, I'll take the portraits and the gold. Another trap. Fingers crossed for a skeleton key. I could check out whatever this is, but I want to be fighting. Uh, okay, that's... Uh, we don't have a bandage, because this uses a bandage. Okay, that is quite a bit of gold, that was worth it, but now I will backtrack. This will add a little bit of stress, but that's alright. So, now we'll go this way. Yeah, I have a lot of food right now. I could probably destroy some of it. And we can use our other bandage, perfect. Still no skeleton key, but that is quite a bit of gold. Okay, we got a fight. Two acolytes and two brawlers. So, let's hit the acolyte right away. They only got 20% blind resist, so this should land. Yup. And that has 3 damage per round, which means I need 6 more. Or I can just ignore it and it will die from it eventually. Plus 10% stress damage received. Okay, that's fine. So, let's pull the one from the back, which will also mark it. And then we should be able to finish it off quite easily with the Seraph. That should be a lot of damage. Oh, never mind. Right. Uh, no, hold on, I can still hit it. Yeah, that will kill it. There we go, 28 critical. That's a pretty big crit. And since we got the trinket, that will buff the entire group with plus 10% damage and plus 2 speed. That is a really nice trinket. But you have to get killing blows with the Seraph. 
or well, whether the hero was using it. Which isn't that hard. Eradicated. And we got rid of the acolytes. That could be pretty nice on bosses. Especially bosses who have friends. And many of them do. Like the one we are about to fight in here, the Brigand 8-pounder. That should be a pretty good ability against that fight. Especially since I have to kill the... whatever his name is. You know, the guy who will fire the cannon at you if you don't kill him. A bleed? Not a big one. We can probably remove that. Right, so let's not kill this guy yet. I can heal myself and remove that bleed. Here we go, and now we can kill him. Bye-bye. So, another portrait, I'll take that. Well, I do not have a skeleton key, let's just open. Nope, no skeleton key. Let's take the crests, actually. Obstacle. We do have shovels. I could ignore it if I wanted to, but I don't want to backtrack that much. It's fine, we have the shovels, we can go through here. I'm still hoping we'll find a skeleton key. But we'll see about that. Yeah, that uses a shovel, but I don't necessarily want to use one now. That would be my last one. Yeah, let's maybe not do that. Because there might be a blockade right before the boss. I would hate to have to remove that with my hands. Come on, give me a key, dammit. Nope, gold. crests. Trinkets and That's still gold. fine. Paid for in blood. Alright, we know there's a fight in here, so let's get our light level up. That looks like a fairly standard group, and we surprised them. So, let's see. We can pull one towards us. Yep, this guy. That will also debuff its dodge. How about their blight resist? Yeah, we can get blight up on the brawler. He only has 20%. The other three have way more. And just hit the artillery. Yeah, that's up to 18 damage. There we go, one down. The downside is nothing will be marked for the Seraph, but that's alright. I could get plus 22% protection and mark myself, but it's not needed right now. Just hit the brawler. Yeah, he will die on the next turn, so now I can basically ignore him. On our next turn, we'll pull the artillery towards us, which will mark it, and then we can hit it with the Seraph. That's the idea here. Nice try, bro. The Seraph will basically always go... Well, okay, not always. But the Seraph has minus one speed, so... She will almost always go, like, last. Anyway. Not much point using poison darts, just hit them. Yeah, hit the Scratcher, that's fine. Right, so now we can pull the artillery, and the Seraph will hit the artillery. Uh, will he go all the way to the... Okay, no, he will go all the way to the back, damn it. I can still pull it. I just need it to be a bit closer, so that the Seraph can hit it. There we go, now we can hit it. Come on, there we go. Okay, can we get a killing blow? Yes, we can. Look at that damage. 13 to 25 damage. That is actually kind of insane. And there's the buff. Nice. Not that I need it right now, but... We got it anyway. And that's that. 300 gold and a torch. Come on, give me a key. Nope. Can we pick up the crests? I could destroy the blight charm. Plus 20% blight resist. It can be useful sometimes. We can also just, like, eat the food. I definitely don't need this much food. So, there you go. Now we can get to the crests. So, let's move on. See if there are any more fights on the way. Well, oh yeah, we can use anti-venom on this. 
no key, unfortunately. We probably won't find one. But hey, who knows? Maybe we will. Nice, we surprised them. Okay, same plan as before. Let's see. Yeah, let's pull one Accolade towards us. And pick to the face. Actually, Thrown Dagger will have a higher chance to crit. 24% chance to crit. That is a lot. Yeah, just kill it. It's fine. And we can hit the Brawler. I mean, we have to kill Brawlers as well. Okay, we're getting pushed. It's fine. Nice bleed, bro. How's that working out for you? So. There. Just hit the Acolyte. I could probably just finish off the Acolyte with the Grave Robber and kill the Brawlers now. That might be a better idea. Our stress is fine anyway. Just kill the Brawler and we'll kill the Acolyte on the next turn. With the dagger. Yeah, now I have to move. I mean, I don't have to. I could change. As in transform. But I don't really want to do that right now. There, we got the Acolyte. And now just finish off the Brawler. Heal up a little bit. Come on now. Are we there yet? This has been a pretty smooth run so far. More These deeds. I'll have to pass on the crests. I'm not willing to destroy a shovel. Come on, a key? Nope. Deeds. Right. Let's destroy Antivenom. I don't need deeds. More so than crests. And since we didn't get scouting information, I do not know in which direction the boss is going to be in. I don't have medicinal herbs, so I'll just ignore that. We got some spiders. Okay, we surprised them. That should be easy enough to deal with. Kill the ones with blight, maybe. That was almost enough damage. Can we do any damage from, like, this position without transforming? I really do not want to get 12 stress for everyone right now. That's just not needed. I guess we'll just heal ourselves. Here, we got one. And I can finish off the other one. With Geralt. Just slightly disappointing the dagger didn't kill it, but oh well, whatever. We resisted the stun, a nice one. And we dodged the other spider. Really? Six damage again? Okay, whatever. How about we reduce some stress? Oh, I can't use this on myself. No, I can. It's just that nobody else has any stress, so using that seems a little bit unnecessary. Almost nobody really needs any healing. Okay, fine, let's just heal. Yeah, we have zero stress on anyone except the Lamia, that's pretty funny. Literally zero stress, not even like one. Another zero. Cleansed from our lands. And yes, I'm aware I still need to camp. I was hoping to get some scouting information, but alas, we did not get any. Well, okay, let's just back up and camp. Here, go, go, go. So, might as well use all the food, because I got plenty. First, prevent ambush, right here. And then, some self-buffs, perhaps. We can reduce stress for Lamia. I do not have any diseases, as far as I'm aware. Do we have any stat buffs? Uh, sort of, not really. Yeah, this one will not be very useful, because there will not be any size 2 enemies. I don't need any healing. Yeah, okay, I almost don't need anything here. I can reduce stress to zero. 
I literally don't really need anything. I suppose we can reduce stress damage received. And reduce stress to zero. Yeah, this is pretty funny. There you go. As the light gains purchase, so, well, let's go in this direction. We don't know which room the boss is going to be in. I'll just assume this one. Also, default party order. Let's find out. Uh, nope, it's going to be the other one. Fine. But now we can use holy water before moving into the room. To boost our resistances. We did not find the key, unfortunately, but oh well, that's fine. Now we can use a shovel, because there are no more blockades left. We got more deeds out of that. Okay, full torch. And let's use holy water to buff our resists. There. Alright, let's go. Here's the boss. This should be an interesting fight with this group. The matchmen will be the priority every time. So... Uh, three points for four rounds. Six to ten damage. I just need to do eight damage or more. Yep, seven damage. Great. Well, you tried. I could transform. I suppose that would be acceptable. But this will end my turn. And I might need the heals. So... I mean, I literally do not need anything right here. We can pull the matchman towards us, so that the Seraph will be able to hit it, and then buff the group. Now that would be- oh, never mind. Wait, no, we can still do it. It's slightly risky, because if I miss, I will be a little bit screwed. Yeah, that's true. I wouldn't want to miss it. And there will always be 5% chance to miss, even with capped chance to hit okay let's give it a shot i want that buff i just need to hit it that's it come on i hope i'm not going to regret that yeah we got capped chance to hit there it is so that will give us the buff plus 10 percent damage plus two speed the speed part will be quite useful well here's another match man I could pull him towards us. Yeah, we really need to make sure the matchman will die every single time. I cannot risk having him alive. Now, I might want to kill some of the other enemies, but I would like to get started on damaging the actual boss, you know? Okay, let's kill the matchman. And then we can do some damage to the brigand 8-pounder. I still don't need any healing. Yeah, this is kind of hilarious. Here, we can cap our health. We have been dodging pretty nicely. Yeah, okay, now we need some healing. He could have done that before I got my Lamia's turn. That is not a lot of damage. Now, we will slowly lose dodge if I leave the Fusilier alive. Look at this damage on the boss. Through 20% protection. Up to 20 damage. There it is, 20 damage, very nice. Yeah, this fight should be quite a bit faster than it usually is, thanks to that interaction. Right, here's another matchman. Seriously, 7 damage again? Come on! And it dodged! Great! So hold on, now I can't kill it! I actually literally can't kill it right now. Yeah, that's a bit awkward. This will not do any damage. Lamia doesn't have any abilities that could do damage. I can transform, but that will end my turn. So... This is not great. I needed that hook to hit. This could be bad. This could actually be really bad. Oh wait, hold on, no, I can hit it with Rat, because Rat can hit an enemy all the way in the back. Okay, good. I was worried for a moment. And that gives us the buff again. That's plus 20% damage. Yeah, this could stack pretty high on boss fights. Especially on longer boss fights. I really like that trinket. 
Finally, we did more than 7 damage. <laughs> okay, maybe now we can do some damage to the boss. Let's mark the boss. The boss should die pretty quickly if we get some good damage in. Alright, let's do at least 20, that would be good. Chance to crit is pretty low, unfortunately. But it was good damage. Here comes another matchman. Remove that bleed. This heal might not be sufficient in the long run, which is why I would like to finish this fight relatively quickly. Would it be better to just hit it? No, it would not be better. The damage buff from the mark is just too good to ignore. Okay, let's go for it. Nice dodge. Okay. 11. That's a bit on the low end, but okay. Half the dodge debuff. Oh yeah, it only lasts two rounds. That shouldn't be a huge concern. Okay. Matchman again. We just need 31 more damage on the boss. It's not that much. Yeah, that's only one damage per turn bleed. Who has the least health right now? Okay, let's heal Geralt. And mark the boss again. Let's compare damage when he when we hit him twice. That's 6 to 11 from the first one. The Seraph will do way less damage without the mark though. I just want to see what's the minimum guaranteed damage now. So 6 plus 5, so 11. That's technically a little bit more, because with the mark, the damage range was 10 to 20, if I'm not mistaken. Well, here's another matchman. We are almost done here. Yeah, just need one more good hit. We need 11 more damage, and that's it. That's going to be the next turn, most likely. Come on now. Are we there yet? That healing from the Lamia probably wasn't sufficient for this group, but we did fine. It's just that if I got crit a few times too many, this wouldn't be enough healing. So I think we got relatively lucky with that. Well, either way, we are done. I do like the interaction between the Seraph and the bounty hunter. I can pick that up and let's go back to the hamlet. And this will give us the trinket for a slayer. That is a pretty nice trinket. Decent amount of gold, some level 3 characters, and diseases, really? Well, I guess we'll remove those. Minus 10 accuracy while bleeding. That doesn't matter too much for a Lamia. A fresh irritant. So let's remove the diseases really quick and then we can check the stagecoach. Here you go, that's a nasty one. Let's check the stagecoach. Helion Abomination Crusader. Exorcist Vestal. Right, I don't need a level 0 Vestal, but we can pick up a few people. Let's take a look. Do I have more than one Abomination? Uh, hold on, sort by class. So, Abomination, Crusader, Helion. I think I only have one Crusader, if I'm not mistaken. We can swap out one Helion. Yeah, this one. So, this miss. And we'll grab the Helion. And a stumbling gate. Then we got Crusader this and Abomination. No and Exorcist, if we have a level 0 Exorcist. Do we? No, we do not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I only had one Crusader. Where's the Abomination? That was Rar. He should be somewhere around here. Our roster is pretty damn big. Where the heck is he? Oh, yeah, we do have... 
the second crusader. Okay, sure. Let's get the level 2 crusader then. Where the heck is Roar? Oh yeah, it's right here. He's right here. This means the other abomination and we can grab this one. So, that's that. Can we upgrade anything? Also, let's send Tarkin to the tavern really quick. Does anyone else need stress reduction? Nope. Well, maybe Garantio. We should probably reduce that, yeah. Okay, fine. Can we upgrade anything? Yes, we can. We can get either weaponsmithing or armorsmithing. I think weaponsmithing should be first. Not that it matters too much. But okay, weaponsmithing first, sword. and I could Stand also upgrade the furnace. Probably worth it, because life. these upgrades are starting to get really expensive at this point. What about the guild? Uh, yeah, okay, I need a lot of portraits for that. But that's okay, we don't need rank 5 just yet. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't, and subscribe for daily videos. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.